Welcome to Coding Dev. Today we will learn what are controlled and uncontrolled components in React. We will also learn the differences between controlled and uncontrolled components in React. First, let us create a React project by running the command npx create react app controlled hyphen uncontrolled. Once the installation is completed, navigate to the directory and open the project in VS Code. Let me just uh, zoom this in. And I'll go ahead and delete the files which are not required for this project. That will be app.css, app.test.js, logo.svg, report.vitals.js, and setup.test.js. And I'll go to app.js and clean up the HTML from here. And let me open this index.css and add some basic styling. I'll create the body and I'll have a margin of say 20 pixel and auto so that the contents come in the center. And I'll just do a text align center. And for the input as well as the label, I'll give a margin of say margin right of. 5 pixel and uh, we'll be showing some error and for that I'll give a margin of 5 pixel and 0 and I'll make the color as red. This is the basic CSS we'll be using this app. Now let me go to app.js and create an input element here. First we'll have a label and uh, I'll give an ID of email and a text of email here and i'll create an input with the same id which will be of type text and i'll be giving id of email so that when i click on this email label this email field will be focused and i'll give a name of email to the i'll just remove this logo reference as well as well as this app.css reference and now let me go to index.js and remove this uh, report web vitals reference. And let me just open the terminal and uh, start the server. Here we have a email label and a text box. And when I click on email, it will focus the text box. Now let us go back to the editor and I'll create a local state which I'll be storing the email entered by the user. And I'll just import the use state and I'll give here value will be email and we'll bind the on change handler here. On change whenever users type something, we will call set email. We can retrieve the email by calling a dot target dot value. So now let us see if this works fine. So I'll just uh, type some email. This seems to be working fine. I'll just uh, output this email here just to make sure this works fine. Email. And if I type an email, yeah, we see that being displayed here. Now let me just open the browser console and type my email. Now when I started typing my email, you will see that I got a warning here from the browser. So what does this say? A component is changing an uncontrolled component to be controlled. This is likely to be caused by the value changing from undefined to a defined value which should not happen. So what React is telling us is we are changing a component which is uncontrolled to controlled. So what is an uncontrolled component? Let me just hide that uh, terminal from there. So uncontrolled components means when we do not give a value to this input, then it will be uncontrolled. So we are not controlling that input. But we, in this case, we are giving a value here. But why still uh, React is uh, throwing this error? React is throwing this error because we have initialized this state with nothing. Whenever this component is mounted for the first time, this email will have a value of undefined. Giving a value equal to in undefined is same as that of not giving a value. 
so when we finish when the component is mounted for the first time this will have a value of undefined that is similar to not giving a value and whenever user starts typing a value it will change to a defined value that is it will have a value of a and uh, it will change to control component so react is telling either you should use a control or an uncontrolled component you should not change from uncontrolled to controlled or the other way around in the middle of the life cycle of a component so how can we make this as control component from the beginning itself for that we can go ahead and initialize this uh, state to an empty string so now initially the email will be empty string which will not be undefined so the component will be controlled so the component will remain controlled throughout the life cycle of the component so now if i clear this console and uh, refresh and if i start typing my email you will see that we will not get any warnings from react this is about control components now we will see how can we create uncontrolled component and access the value of this input box for that i will create a new component here i will name it as uncontrolled input and i'll just use this shortcut to create the component let me just copy the code from here i'll just paste it here and i will remove this email we will not be having this email because the component will be uncontrolled and i'll just uh, include this in index.js instead of app and i'll just import it let me just uh, refresh it here and if i type it would still work but how do i access the value here for accessing these input values we can make use of references since this is a functional component i'll make use of the use ref hook i'll just uh, create an input ref and i will initialize it to null and i'll just import this use ref hook from react and i will give this reference to the input component now the thing with uncontrolled components is that we will not be able to access the value of this email as and when the user types the email we can access this email only when only once the user submits this form so let me just enclose this with a form so that i can have a form submit handler and uh, i'll not have any actions i'll just uh, give on submit and i'll yeah, i'll write a function say submit handler and i'll just uh, declare this function here so we can access this uh, email by writing i'll just uh, show an alert here with input ref dot current dot value since this is a form i'll create a submit button as well that will be input form submit and value will be like just i'll say submit since we have this uh, submit handler binder here we don't want uh, the page to be reloaded so i'll use uh, e dot prevent default now let us open the app and see if this works fine so i'll type my email and i'll click on submit and we will see the email being displayed in the alert so in case of uncontrolled components we will not have any local state or store the value of the input box the value will be stored in the dom itself so we will have a reference to the dom element that is the input element and uh, we will access the value of it the main disadvantage of for uh, this uncontrolled components would be that we will uh, be able to access the value of this uh, input box only when we submit the form so if you have to do some validation while the user is typing the email we will not be able to do that while using this uncontrolled component so we'll go back to control components i'll just uh, update this uh, index.js with app.js and in the app component uh, we will have a look another local state just to store the error and i'll just initialize it to an empty empty string so we'll write a on change handler here on um, input change 
so I will receive this uh, event here basically I am just moving this inline function to this function here and I will just give the function reference here so instead of this uh, email I will just uh, show the error I will just add the class here for showing the error in red color and I will show the error only if there is one so I will just use this if error is present then only show the error and what I need to do here is I need to have a rejects to validate the email I have just pasted the rejects here uh, I know this is a really long rejects I will give this rejects in the description below so that you can copy paste to your code what we will do is we will test if this is equal to value okay. what is value value will be like we will just extract the value here so that we don't have to reference this e dot target dot value everywhere so I will just give const value equal to e dot target dot value so that I can replace this with value and we have the value here so we check if this does not match with the value then we will set the error to say invalid email otherwise we will set the error to an empty string so that it doesn't show any error when user enters a valid email so let us go ahead and test this let me just reload this and I will type an email and you will see that as and when I type the email it will show the error as soon as I enter a valid email the error will be gone and if I enter an invalid email again you will get back the error so this is the advantage of using control components where we have sent when the user types we will be able to validate it and show the error then and there that's it from this tutorial I know it has been a short one I hope you liked it if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below and do subscribe to our channel and until we meet again bye bye